Our six days visit to Lankavi came to an end, but our Malaysian adventures continue. It's early morning and the taxi is taking us to the airport. Our next stop is Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia, and we're very excited about this. many planes over the years, but still, every time we check in our luggage, the stress builds up. Especially when our carry-on is 25 kilos instead of 7 that are allowed. Shh, don't tell anyone. Fortunately, our overweight carry-on was not weighed. We successfully got to the gate and had some spare time to catch up on social media. Updating my Instagram. Gotta keep up with the new age, you know? I do my best to keep Cassie Plus One up to date, yet still, I'm more active on my personal Instagram. If you don't mind a few selfies here and there, feel free to follow. I found out that there is another container hotel right at the airport and it's called the capsule. I went to see if maybe they provide a shuttle bus to their downtown location. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you so much. What's the deal with these guys? It's just uh, they have two locations. One at the airport, which is great. You have a huge layover, very long layover. You can stay here and it's that would be cool to stay at something so unique. Um, I think the best bet would be to take the Uber. We're in Kuala Lumpur. We decided to take Uber from the airport to the hotel. We're on the way to our very unique hotel called Capsule. Just to tell you a little bit of our um, experience arriving into the airport. It's quite large airport. The location of things is a little spread out. So it took us some time to figure out where the taxi stands are and where the bus and all that is. Just to give you an example, if you go to the taxi counter, they calculated that it would cost us 120 ringgit, which is 40, around 40 dollars, 40 Canadian dollars. Then we asked a guy, just some guy standing around the exit, uh, like the cab drivers offering a uh, taxi. They would charge us 150, then he started bargaining 220. Pretty much same as the taxi counter gave us and then I check Uber and it's 80 ringgit which is 24 Canadian dollars so definitely Uber wins it's quite a long uh, drive it's 40 minutes 40 plus minutes depending on traffic so far that's what we uh, learned if you're 
Port Clea Airport takeover if you have that available. Otherwise, order a taxi. This is perfect. We're gonna get there and it's check in time. Whatever you decide to take to get you from the airport to your destination, make sure that the tolls are included. As we are going from the airport to downtown Kuala Lumpur, we already passed three tolls. So, not sure if that would be included in your taxi ride. With Uber, usually you get one price and everything is covered. Some of them range from two ringgit to the most expensive one that we passed was uh, almost 12 ringgit. So they're not that expensive, but it might accumulate if that's not included in your fare. So make sure, talk to your driver. While approaching downtown Kuala Lumpur, we noticed a lot of construction and other urban developments. It seems like the city is expanding. It looks vast and very impressive. Since we're also from a big metropolis, this comes as no surprise to us. But the opportunity of exploring a new big city is always exciting. Yeah, it's a freaking tank. We're gonna be sleeping in a container! up and went to explore Kuala Lumpur city center and visit Petronas Tower. Stay tuned for our next episode and don't forget to subscribe.